Today is Pastor Appreciation Day, and we're going to take a few minutes to give Pastor Curtis some recognition, and I'll allow you to come up and share why you appreciate Pastor Curtis. And as for me, I always appreciate his messages, how they're always so well prepared, always scriptural, and always applicable to our daily lives. And I'll start with the worship team. Pastor Curtis is more than just a pastor. Pastor has been a very good friend. He's been somebody that we can not only go to, but somebody that we can lean on and know that when we ask for prayer, that when he prays, he prays from the very bottom of his heart. And he feels what he prays. And I just appreciate everything that he's done for me the past two and a half years that I've been here. <laughs> well, I, was, I consider you a great pastor and um, a, a loving, torture congregation. And I appreciate that. And others appreciate that also, seeing that you are loving towards your congregation. And um, thank you for that. Curtis, you've told me many stories of things you've gone through in your life. You are a living example of the healing power of Jesus Christ. And you continue to share that over and over and over to the people. I just thank you for that. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, in the short time I've come to Harvest Time, I'm amazed to see a pastor who's so passionate about the Word of God. His unbreakable compassion for his flock, as well as the community of South Warren, told me a story the other night, and the contents left me in complete awe, but it was the ending of it that really blew me away. A man that I had a personal atrocity against a pastor and when his sanity, as well as his leadership, came into question, Pastor ended the entire meeting with something very simple. He said, you may know the Bible, I live the Bible. And he truly does. It's my honor and my privilege to be part of this flock and have a shepherd like Pastor. You continue to amaze me every week with the things that you do. And I just ask the Lord Jesus Christ to continue to lay a hand on Pastor that I might have the honor to serve his house of the Lord for many years to come. Thank you for your leadership. And you are a true warrior, the Almighty King. Thank you. Pastor Curtis is on my Facebook, and I would send him. He sent, he sent me a friend request. He accepted my friend request, and I would send, you know, Bible verses and stuff. And church stuff to them and stuff, you know, but we have a little joke, you know, I always, the Flintstones are always my favorite cartoon, and I said, Pastor Curtis, I came to church instead of staying home and watch the Flintstones, he said, good choice and stuff, I always make the right choice, today I was supposed to work the election at the club, instead I told him I'm going to church and stuff and that, you know, and um, so there I made the right decision again, you know, and Thank you. I would like to say, I appreciate you, Pastor Curtis, more than you know. I was in sinking sand. One, one morning, I got up and I walked here with my daughter and my feet. I planted solid in God now. You saved my life and you've been such a blessing to my family. They don't come with me, but my youngest son does. And he looks up to you so much. He had no special person. And he asked you to be his special person and go to school with him. And that made such a difference to him that you cared enough to make time for him. And I'd like to believe that he has now set his feet in solid stone of God. And we pray for you in this church, and we love to see it grow. But I have not enough words to say thank you for everything you've done and all of the blessings that you have spoke over my family. Thank you. I'm going to sing you a little ditty. It goes like Stolot, Stolot, Nejiana, Stolot, Stolot, Nejiana, 
stola, stola, nejiana. And it, it, it meant after that. <laughs> but I don't know if you know the, the, the it, it's Polish for may you live to be a hundred. <laughs> Pastor Curtis, I want to thank you that we prayed for Michelle, Michelle in New York. But I did look her up on the computer to find her phone number, and I sure did. And I just remembered, oh my gosh, here it is, the place down. Um, even though I can't get her right now because uh, I, I can't get her from home. So, you know, living at, um, in New York is a hard life. It's an awfully big place. And you got to really worry about somebody that lost her father to, you know, her dad did die. And um, she did let me know about that. She called me. And, you know, I felt for him too because I was married to him for eight years and I feel very sorry that I can't see or visit her anymore, I don't think, she won't come here. So that is it. Um. First of all, I would say, you know, Pastor is a great man. Yesterday I was talking to somebody that we were helping empty their house, and she said, you know, you, you speak real highly of Pastor, you know? And I said, yeah, it's hard. It's hard not to. Because in my mind, there's God, and then there's Pastor. There's not a better man on this earth than God and Pastor. I was in this array eight years ago when I came to this church. My life was a shambles. I was a mess. I was using. And Curtis brought me in and he opened me, welcomed me with open arms. I ended up going back to prison for something that I did and I came back and when I walked in, Pastor gave me a, I came in, him and Sue were sitting at the desk and I came in and I says, you know, Pastor, do you remember me? And he stood up and he gave me a hug that was better than your mom, your dad, anybody. It was warming. And I just want to say, Pastor, you know, we appreciate everything you do for South Warren. We appreciate everything you do for everybody in surrounding area. But on behalf of myself, Pastor, I would like to say you're an excellent mentor. You're a great man. And I told you a long time ago, you told me, don't screw up. And I said, I'm not going to because I'm going to follow you. And you said, let's go. So I'm right behind you, Pastor. <laughs> I could sit up here and go all day and night about the pastor, just like everybody in this place. I've told it a couple of times in this church, and I say it all the time. I've been in and out of churches all my life. When I came here, I thought I was a Christian. Pastor Curtis let me know I wasn't a good one. And he put me on the road to be a good one. And I've told him, I says, I've never in my life, ever seen a pastor take things personal like that man does never i've been in a lot of churches i'm ashamed to say that but i have and i've never once met a pastor with a heart as big as his ever in my life he takes everything personal he's one of the greatest pastors i've ever met you can see the emotion in him when he preaches you can see how great of a man he is he always talks about how he tried to take care of this little community in South Warren. And he says this and he says that. Sometimes he says a little joke. You know what he doesn't realize? This city loves him like he wouldn't believe. Everybody in this little community here within this area, they all talk about Pastor Curtis. Every one of them knows him. And they love him. And they realize he's been here with this church and he ain't going nowhere. He'll probably... <laughs> Be at this pulpit the day he falls over. Because that's who he is. He devoted himself to the Lord a long time ago. And there's nothing ever going to separate that man from God. Amen. And I've learned that if you can learn anything from any pastor in the world, the best one to learn it from is Pastor Curtis. He sure set me on the right road. He's made me see things I've never seen. He showed how I can open up and all I got to do is follow the Lord and have a goal. 
And I'm on that goal, and I'm never getting on that road. I tell myself every morning, dear Lord, don't ever let me go back to being the old me. Because the pastor showed me the new me, and I love him for that. And it, it doesn't amaze me that everybody should have stood in line to thank that man that comes to this church. Because that man has done something for each and every one of us. Amen. Each and every one of us. Because he's the greatest pastor I've ever met. And I believe that the Lord looks down on him and says, keep it up, Curtis. <laughs> so thank you, Pastor Curtis, for giving me this opportunity to brag about you. And I'll brag about you until the day I can't breathe no more. Because you're the greatest pastor I've ever met. So thank you. that the word of God says that we're supposed to be praying for our pastor. So let's remember to pray for him weekly, even on a daily basis. Yes? yes. All right. Yes. At this time, let's welcome up Pastor Curtis.